Get him. He's on. Yeah. All right, River Rats, I'm out here with uh, Corey, the uh, owners of JB's Fish Sauce. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There he is. What's going on, guys? And I'm going to keep circling around here. The man known far and wide for his walleye catching abilities. There he is, Rob. You have anything intelligent to say, Rob? Oh, you don't? I didn't no, think so. No. We're out here, we're gonna try and catch some big my fish. I'm gonna blind you with my farmer's tan. Well, that's pretty much it. Rob brought summer sausage, I'm excited. What do you need, dude? Well, why don't you uh, circle up around and just come in right here and tie off next to me. And then I can get you some baits and you can watch me catch a 40 pounder right here. I'm all about it. Well, that'll work. Turn to your right. Am I gonna hit you there? Nope. It's pretty crafty in a 13 foot boat on the river. Have you ever kayaked before? Huh? Have you ever kayaked before? Have I? Yeah. Not a lot, no. no. Oh. Why you ask? Moving a 13 foot boat cross current and spinning around in a tight circle is not the easiest thing in the world. If I hook a giant here, I'm, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. I'll have to bring him probably on your side and you'll have to grab him. Okay. I've hit this spot at least once every year for 10 years and have never caught a fly in here. The scoreless streak here, the 10 year scoreless streak right here continues. Boo. Boo. Lame. So what I'm doing is I'm like looking around trying to find a balance between quality of fishing spots from the bank and then actually being comfortable enough to sleep a little bit. It's tougher than it sounds. Although this, it's not great. It's not terrible. So I'm not writing that spot off either quite yet. That brush on the bank over there with the little current break behind it. Well, for the moment I vote right here, but I'm gonna go check out that behind that brush. That would definitely be more comfortable. I vote right here. The spread rods out. It's comfortable. Looks like we're home. And we'll see what happens. You're about to see how much of a diva I am. I brought rubber boots. <laughs> Preparation is everything. What's gonna happen, I got my little short boots and I'm probably gonna sink up to my kneecaps in this mud. All right. Nope, about like what I expected. This is living in comfort compared to what you're used to fishing with me, other than your boat. Right, well there's a lot of them to grab. Corey's hard at work, good job. There's the table? <laughs> Well, I don't need a table. <laughs> Rob said he was gonna cook. At least we have a table to cook on. Do you think you can catch me a smallie here? If I had a night crawler, I'd feel a little more confident. I'd feel a little off. You're yelling a lot, Rob. Rob's distressed looking for um, his deer sticks right now. I'm moderately entertained, but uh, this is Snoopy. The whisker stick, it was originally designed for ice fishing, but has a lot of other fun applications. Currently, the record on this from catfishing is like, oh hey, hey. 42 inches. 42 inch flathead I caught last year. And uh, if anyone beats it, let me know. The record though, the biggest fish, 110 pound sturgeon. True story. True story. True story. On one of these. Really? All right, what do I want to put on Snoop Dogg? I oh, guess I'm putting a bluegill on him. You ready to be impressed by my casting ability, Corey? That's where he's gonna be. About 5.30 in the morning. Hopefully this clicker wakes me up. Well, sorry guys, I failed. You really dropped the ball on that one. 
I plan food accordingly, not based on those, so. The good news is I got two big links of summer sauce. Oh, then what are you mad about? Because I had a pack of sticks too. Oh, well the summer sausage is pretty solid. Wait till you see the size of the bullhead that Corey has. Look at that freak. He's probably 15 incher. Pushing it. No, 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 no. Farther? You gotta run it in here from that side with the angle of the hook and then back through. Otherwise you're gonna miss fish. And he is gonna pull your clicker bad. Yep. <laughs> All right, let me get a picture of that. I'm putting mine under a bobber. That'll reduce the amount of zzz, zzz all night. Time. Yep, nothing but magnums. Rob's got some good things going on over here. Little summer sausage, sauteed. That doesn't make me mad. All right, the best analogy I have for this is it's a bobber on a, a drop shot. So you have your leader here, you have a dropper, and then you have this weight hanging down to hold it where you cast, and it's, the only purpose really is to keep your bait suspended. But the fun thing about suspended baits is if it's a bullhead, they just freak out the whole time and get all these fish's attention. And I'm gonna use uh, the only remaining giant bullhead left, sadly. I need to get him out of here because he's sucking up all the oxygen for the other fish. Ugh. Hang on. Beefcake. I don't know if a 10 knot's even big enough for him. We're gonna make it work though. Ugh, easy killer. Yeah, freaking out. Don't tear off the hook. Then I can't talk trash anymore. Eh. And there he kersplooshes, and he'll swim wherever he swims. <laughs> I put him under a bobber because it's kind of like a buffer, so he's not pulling as much of the clicker off all the time. If he stays remotely close to there, I'm pretty happy. He won't though, because he's a bullhead. Good one? Coming. Coming. Is he good? No, he's something no. He's not big. Here, step over here. <laughs> oh yeah, he ain't bad. I don't like my bait so up. There we go. That'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true Ooh. cat fisherman. That was on the gill, huh? Yes, sir. That was on the used gill. That makes me feel a lot better about this spot. Absolutely, yeah. that's pretty early. That's a good sign, yeah, I was about to say. Not bad. No, you gotta like that. And I, I like how early it is. Good way to start the night. Yeah. Camo cat. Say intelligent things, Corey. Keep baits in the water, you never know. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Eating good while you're at is pretty fun too. That actually magnifies the do, quality do, do of the situation. Do one looking at that camera, but don't talk. Just kind of like, like, yeah. Actually, just quit talking for the rest of the night. Yeah, yeah that was great. <laughs> no one wants to hear you anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Good way to start. I concur. The dinosaur. Oh, a nice one. That was weird. That doesn't happen often. Sweet. Sweet. Sausage time. Sausage time. <laughs> Everybody's eating sausage now. Back to what we were talking about. Are the cooked ones in the pot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sausage tastes like sausage, but a little bit better. Yeah. Oh. Pretty, pretty good. This won't be my last piece. It's good. So we're starting to fire using Rob's business cards as Tinder. Old business cards. Old business Actually, cards. Actually, you guys should both take them and like call in and saying you need IT services and network services. And be like, <laughs> but we only want to do we want to do business with Rob Griffith. They're gonna be like, We've heard a lot of good things about that guy. Yeah. 
hey, they make for good tinder. Yeah, not swipe not right. Not swipe right kind. Yeah, my joke, I forgot. All right, time for a 50. The fire is going. That's pretty solid for having big tinder and business cards. Proud of you. Get him. He's on. Yeah. Keep the heat on him. That's fine. Keep heat on him, man. Straight heat, right? Yep. Gosh, you're you got the hot hand. Oh, he ain't bad. 20 something. Oh, he just splashed the crap out of me. Uh, thanks for the sacrifice, bud. Yeah, gladly. It's a step up. In the ears, right? <laughs> Did you hear it at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just taking off. Spencer, that's two. Two more to go. And... Yeah, well, big old belly. Here you go. Nice. Let me go grab the big camera. Oh, he is nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm soaked. <laughs> Dude, that's a dandy. I don't know, 20 something. I bet he gave you a good fight though. He did. The rod was like folded real nice. He didn't mess around. Did he hit the you one? did. did he hit <laughs> you stayed back while I took off racing. I'm glad someone else can hear because I can't. I thought it was my rod. If I would have known it was yours, I would have just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the big bullhead, or did you lose that already? He, he lost that already. No. Okay, gotcha. This was a small bullhead. Still bullhead, still a dandy. All right. Good fish, number two. Let's get him back in the water. I wonder if it was that one we heard swirl. Very, very possible. All right. Yeah, you're gonna be a jerk. No. No. Two nice ones. You just take the fight out of them, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wore them out. Rob's good for four flatheads. We're halfway there. Two. Two. Is he still there? I'm gonna bet he's not still there. So what just happened was Corey's fishing rod almost got yanked in the water. Almost drug his whole kayak in the water. It's pretty epic. All right, that might have exaggerated just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But the rod tip did almost touch the water. Well, your bait's either dead or gone, so you should probably reel it in. Uh. Oh, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I mean, not necessarily, but it could have been. It's a flathead. Skate him on up. That's stupid. <laughs> kind of awesome, though. <laughs> Almost worth one in the you know water. What, you know what that means, Spencer? What? We're three. We're one away. One away. Rob's good for four flatheads every time. True story. I like fishing with Rob. <laughs> yeah, you should fish with him more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not the biggest, but... You got the hot hand. You do. Isn't it funny how, like... Some nights somebody's it, got you, it. You it's know weird. what though about that fish? I've been on the other end it, of it, it many that times. That fish, it'll eat. It'll, it will. Corey, good job uh, not sucking, you know? Yeah. That's, that's impressive. That, All right. He finally Seriously. Got me. Seriously. The smallest one of them. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm working with now. Okay. Well. Thanks, bud. Whatever. I'll give you sloppy seconds. Thanks. Better than nothing. Thanks. Just when I was thinking about going to bed. Do you think he hit both of those? Yeah, I kind of do. I think so. Hard telling though. If you're going to rebate one, I guess you might as well rebate both of them. <laughs> Sweet. Now it's just getting dumb. Is he big? But not bad. This is getting mildly ridiculous. Like, that was 
less than three minutes in the water. Yeah. Lights uh, everywhere. I, uh, I am freaking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for this, this bud. No yeah. problem. We're just here for you, Corey. I think that's. You look very tribal. Four. Tribal right now. Do I? Yeah. All muddy. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another teener. What'd that one eat? Bluegill. Yeah. Boom. Just another flathead. And what to say? Ain't no thing. Yeah. Another fun time. Cool stuff. It is kind of neat. I mean, that was literally less than three minutes in the water. Yeah. Oh. He'll figure it out. Oh, halfway nice again. This is crazy. <laughs> just sometimes you just gotta soak it up. I've well, been on the other side many times. Well, I boys, guess. you have a nice. No, time. I'm, I'm, back I'm not talking about. Here. I'm not talking about catching fish. Like who's catching? I'm just talking about the catching. Right. I, what I'm getting at is like it's crazy that we're having this action. Right. Like we. Like our entire setup was just screwed up. Yeah, and we had lights everywhere. We had lights going. We just re-set up, rebated. and didn't even have time to sit down. Yeah, and he didn't care. <laughs> All right, keep going. <laughs> I think I have him. Okay, there you go. I gotta turn the clicker off in a <laughs> I think he's a carbon copy to the one you caught. <laughs> uh, that's fine. We'll get him in. Ooh! Hey! Ooh! Other side of the boat. Yep. That's the downfall of using a 36 inch rod. You don't have a lot of control. Oh, he, he might be out. Yeah. Oh, he ain't bad. I don't have a lot of control. <laughs> There you go, bud. He's pretty. A whole bunch of it. It's oh, the same, Snoopy. I think it's the same fish that just keeps going back. Right. Take a bad one. This is the best night I've had this year for numbers. And actually, probably, I mean. You think it's a coincidence that I'm here? No. I, I don't think so. I, I don't either. It's definitely all you. This is honestly getting kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know. I mean, there's not any, like, freak show showing up, but five fish before one in the morning. I don't know. Rob, come here and stand awkwardly. It's because I'm here is why are these fish are biting. Oh. Yes. That's that's really the only explanation. Rob gets them riled up. <laughs> kind of lucky like that. You're a lot of things and lucky. See you, friend. Well, that deserves another. Oh. Ooh, smoked him. No, keep real faster. It's a oh, it's a turtle. It's a quality turtle. No, no, you ain't getting away. We'll get the hook out and then. Oh, you teed him up. Nice. Way to make it look easy. That's a pretty epic hook set, though. <laughs> what time is it? Apparently, I slept through a couple good ones. How big is a big one? I sent you a couple pics so you can see what you missed. Okay. Should probably get things cleaned up. Kind of disappointed in that bullhead. The big one? Yeah. It wasn't him, it was more of the flatheads that disappointed me. I was hoping uh, a jumbo would eat him, but I guess not. They seemed to have a, a bluegill taste last night. I gotta get packed up. 
Rob looks like he has things to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you got a minute, go check out my podcast. Uh, it's a pretty good time. That's Rob standing awkwardly in the background. You can't see him. He's just out of the frame. Or is this less awkward? It looks no. like you're sticking your butt in Corey's face. No, that would be <laughs> sticking my butt in Corey's face. All right. Hope you were entertained by that. <laughs> I wasn't. I mean, the whole video is what I was getting at, but uh, not that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you catch a giant.